the super sticky tires and all the horsepower we have right now and the huge range of adjustment in our suspension, it doesn't do you any good if you don't know what's going on. So with the race pack, uh, we have hard data. We have mathematical results of what the car is doing and we can go back and analyze this and put the proper setup in the car so we go out and win on the racetrack. In this car, we're actually looking at a lot of different parameters as far as suspension is concerned and also engine. The data logger we put in here is what's called a G2X Pro Data Logger. It utilizes GPS, utilizes uh, uh, four shock sensors. We're also interfacing with the Holly e EFI, and we added a few other sensors to get the oil temp, uh, trans temp, and the rear diff temp. That doesn't mean you're limited to that with this vehicle. We could add about another 50 sensors to that particular data recorder. It's a single cable routed throughout the car. There's not a whole harness going through there, a rat's nest of wires, and off of, off of that single cable, we're grabbing all that data. Basically, shock sensors are just measuring the travel as the vehicle goes around the track, and we convert that travel from inches into inches per second, which now gives you velocity. That velocity actually duplicates what you see on a shock dyno, plus it's also recording the load on it, too. Now you're looking at, at that compared to the shock dyno, and you're saying, okay, I thought this thing would be seeing, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight inches of, of travel per second, but you find out you're valved and, and built for something way different. Now you can go back and start making your shock changes and get it right. In addition to that, by utilizing GPS in the data recorder, then we take all that information and convert it also into pitch of the vehicle, which is this, rides up and down, and roll. We can look at all those parameters just through four shock sensors. We're now looking at track mapping, lap time, lap number, speed, and all that type of information just from this uh, GPS antenna that's on the back of the car here. You don't have to have a beacon receiver, a transmitter, a wheel speed sensor, none of that stuff is required. It's basically routing the GPS antenna connecting to the data recorder and away you go. We're not only a data recorder company, we're also a digital instrumentation company. We build what's called the IQ3 dash and the UDX dash. Those dashes are designed to plug in line with the data recorder and all the information coming from the sensors is shared with the dash. It looks at your fastest lap of the outing and it calculates every 300 feet how long it took you to get to that point on the track. And it gives you a plus or minus value, letting you know when you come out of the corner on the straightaway whether you're slower or faster. We can translate our data onto the racetrack really fast, not wasting time or effort to get our times improved. We go out, read the data, we make a quick shock change, and we go out and the results are improved right now.